Hey there, Proud Scout Executive Matt Adams, coming to you from, of course, the world headquarters of the Pennsylvania Dutch Council. This vlog is for November 2023. As I'm talking to you, just left Camp uh, Mac, and uh, the colors are changing, and it's a beautiful time, which is one of my favorite times of the year, uh, fall. Um, and hopefully you're doing some great things uh, with scouts out there getting in the woods enjoying the, the beauty that uh, South Central Pennsylvania has to offer um, and that uh, leads right into my first um, my first uh, comments and that is thank you to those that uh, participated in our fall outpost events I know they weren't uh, the ideal weather that uh, we were looking for but still it's nice to get you and your family out at mac and, and enjoying the outdoors and, and getting some of these new cub scouts their first outdoor experience and of course i want to say thank you to our uh, volunteers who make uh, make these happen they're supported greatly by our scouts bsa uh, units for running some of the stations and and uh, volunteers putting food uh, packets together and and a great support from our professional staff so thanks to everyone that helped make those uh, outpost experiences uh, great um, for our um, our cub scouts second thing i wanted to mention to you was uh, because of the time of the year and the time that you're seeing this uh, a lot of the uh, fall sports and activities are coming to an end and this would be a great time for your unit to do a second sign-up night uh, to try and get more kids into the scouting program. Uh, we offer, as you know, a year-round program. And uh, if they did soccer or, or something else uh, at their elementary school or middle school, now is a great time to, to reach back out and uh, invite additional um, families and, and scouts to, uh, to join our program. So please consider that. We still have lots of flyers and bookmarks and yard signs and, and uh, items that can support uh, your uh, sign-up night. So uh, give us a shout um, if we can help you in that way. The third thing I wanted to talk to you briefly about is uh, December is uh, recharter time and um, it'll look a, a little bit different this year. Not not a lot, but a little bit different this year. Um, so if you have uh, families that have signed up, uh, they will already show as, as paid on your recharter. Um, but uh, mainly wanted to um, emphasize uh, the program fee uh, and the assistance fund that is available to um, families if they have uh, a hardship uh, with the program fee. Uh, that information is on our website and we strongly encourage you to share that and promote that because we do not want uh, finances to be an obstacle for a family to continue uh, to participate in scouting or join scouting. Uh, we can help you with that and um, thank you very much for that. Speaking of money, of course, you know, as the Boy Scouts, uh, we have three things that we are generally doing on an everyday basis. They, we call them the three M's. Membership, we're uh, constantly working on trying to get more kids into our program, uh, as well as, uh, um, um, uh, hello, brain blow up. Sorry about that. Three M's of scouting. Membership, trying to get more kids in scouting, manpower, recruiting and training volunteers, whether that's on a local level, uh, unit level, district level, or council level. We're always trying to expand our board, recruit people for unit commissioners, recruit people for different district staff, and then we know that there's a need on, uh, on a Cub Scout, uh, Scouts BSA, or venturing level for volunteers as well. And then finally, uh, money. We always have to uh, constantly uh, focusing on uh, raising money. Um, to make our uh, operations and programs uh, successful throughout the year. So with that in mind, it's a long way of saying, uh, please consider um, uh, making a donation for the Extraordinary Give, which is coming up in, uh, in November. It's a great community event that helps many, many uh, nonprofits, and, and we are a beneficiary of, of the uh, Lancaster Community Foundation's partnership uh, with the Extraordinary Give. We'll have more details out there uh, for you shortly. Uh, but even, uh, you know, a small gift, big gift, they all matter and they make it fun throughout the day. Um, uh, so there's certain times uh, of the day, if you make a donation, there may be some stretch pool dollars available to us if we're selected. So, so please consider making a gift through the Extraordinary Give. Last but not least, I, uh, I always thank my volunteers, not my volunteers, but the volunteers of the Pennsylvania Dutch Council. And there's two things I wanted to make sure that I said thank you to. Uh, number one, uh, November is a time uh, of Thanksgiving. And I just wanted you to know that I am thankful for the hard work that you volunteers and professional staff and members of the uh, Pennsylvania Dutch Council staff uh, put in uh, a hard day's work 
to change the life of a child. That's a real special gift you share. And I know I've said that before, but I, I never get tired of, of saying thank you for that. And I also wanted to say thank you to uh, all the units that participated in our fall product sale. It was another successful year. Uh, we met our budget. We know your units uh, helped make um, uh, uh, raise dollars to finance their program for the upcoming year. And um, it was a it was a it was a solid solid uh, fall product sale for us. So thank you. Um, and what, when it means it's solid for us, it's also good for the unit. So thank you very much for those volunteers and scouts and everybody that did show and sells, wagon dragons, did some take orders, sent out emails, all the fun stuff that uh, helps make a fall product sale with popcorn and nuts uh, successful. So thank you for your time and energy. Special shout out to Myrna Walker, who is uh, kind of the co-chair for um, uh, the fall product sale here in the office, but really she's the uh, bronze and brains behind the sale. I, I help support her personally as, as a co-chair, but really she's the one that uh, does all the heavy lifting so thanks Myrna for what you're doing um, I think that's it uh, have a wonderful wonderful November my best to you and your family during the Thanksgiving time I know I always take a couple days off around Thanksgiving uh, to uh, take a breath sp spend some time with the family and um, uh, just reflect on uh, the things that I am thankful for by the way I'm going camping with the troop this weekend and my good friend Pete Nisley is going to be there with me uh, heading up to Hickory Run. It's going to be a soggy weekend, but we're going to make it fun. That's the beauty of scouting. Thanks a lot. Thanks for being great volunteers. We'll see you in December. Bye-bye.